millions of videos on YouTube, but only one can be my favorite, and I haven't watched it in years. So today, we're gonna take a look at React to my favorite video on this entire platform. The history of the entire world, I guess, is the best video on this platform. Hi, you're on a rock, floating in space. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it, actually most of it's water. I can't even get from here to there without buying a boat. It's sad. I'm sad. I miss I'm you. getting nostalgia vibes from this already. The editing on this is just spectacular. The cohesiveness of the video is it's so tight and it actually has genuinely good information. I love this video. I should rewatch it every year. I, I'm so excited for this. Let's go. A long time ago, actually never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense, right? Like I said, it didn't happen. Nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a where. You don't even need a when. That's how every it gets. I love Bill Watts so much. Forget this. I want to be something. Go somewhere. Do something. How do you describe a lack of a thing? This is, he's describing the timeline of the universe and how the planet was formed. How do you describe nothing? He just did a really good job of making entertaining and also informative as well. But it, it, it just boggles my mind how well, it, well edited, well scripted, just well put together this video is. I want things to change. I want to invent time and space. And I know it's possible because everything is here and it probably already happened. I just don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. Oh, I paused it. I think there's a universe now. What's it made of? Quarks and stuff. Ah, that's a Quarks. thing. Quarks. In a place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together because the world is going to get bigger and emptier. But it's not empty yet. It's still very full and about a jillion degrees. Great news. The quarks are now happily married in groups of three called a proton or a neutron. And there's something else flying around too that wants to join in but can't because it's still too... Great. It is my opinion that this video should be shown in every single science class across the world. This should be shown everywhere. News, the protons and neutrons are now happily married to each other. Some of them even doubled up. Great news, the electrons have now joined in. Congratulations, the world is now a bunch of gas in space. Woo, it's let's go! Together, and it's getting closer together. Woo! And it's getting closer together. You just wait a little bit. New shit just got made. Some stars wow. burn out and die. Bigger stars oh. burn out and die with passion and make some brand new, way crazier shit. Which allows newer, more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode into Even crazier space dust. So now stars Damn. have cool stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and funny clouds, which can make some very interesting things. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Holy shit. This was the TikTok editing before TikTok editing was even a thing. Bill Watts was the pioneer of just completely crazy out there edits that's moving across the screen all the time to keep your attention. Because there's no way you could possibly explain all of this stuff and keep someone's attention in two minutes. You just described the entire formation of the universe and how everything works in two minutes. We just got hit with another ball of flaming rocks and it kind of made a mess, which is now. Weather update, it's raining rocks from outer space. Weather update, those rocks might have had water inside them and now there's hot steam in the sky. Weather update, mm, tasty cooler temperatures steam. today and the floor is no longer lava. Weather update, Woo! it's raining. Severe flooding alert, the entire world is now an ocean. Uh-oh. Volcano alert. Land. We did it! In the ocean. What? Something's alive in the ocean. Oh cool, like a plant or an animal? No, a microscopic speck. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and eats chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh, made from- And so, life was born. The first instance of life, and there it is. Gnarly space ingredients left over from when it was raining rocks Delicious space oh, ingredients. Yeah, and it can do that. It has secret instructions written inside itself, telling it how to build another one of itself. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. Tired of living at the bottom of the ocean? Now you yeah. can eat sunlight. Tasty. Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert sunlight into food. Taste the Side effect, now there's oxygen everywhere and the sky's blue. Then the earth might have been a snowball for a while, maybe even a couple of times. Ice it's ages? A I'd like this is just, it's going through so much stuff, you have so much information. It's a bombardment of information the whole time. It doesn't wait for a second. It's just constantly going and going and going. It's a plant. It's a worm and some other types of weird, strange water bugs and strange fish. It's the Cambrian explosion. Wow, Yay. that's animals and stuff. But we're oh still my god. Ocean. Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun is a deadly laser. Oh, okay. Not anymore, there's a blanket. Now the animals can go on we land. We made the Come ozone! On, animals, let's go on land. Nope, can't walk yet. That's one of my favorite parts of this entire video. The sun is a deadly and laser. No so good. Yet, so I don't care. Okay, will you learn to walk if there's plants up here? Maybe, said some bugs and fish. <laughs> Get some legs, idiot. Okay, so I can go on land, but I Build have to some go legs. Back in the water. Build some legs. Thank you. Have babies. Learn to use an egg. I was already doing that. Use a stronger egg. Put water in it. Have a baby on land in an egg. Water is in the egg. Baby in the egg in the water in the egg. Works for me. Bye you bye did it. Ocean. Bye ocean. Goodbye. And then now we have the dinosaurs. And now everything's huge, including bugs. Oh, jeez. Want to see a map of the land? Sure. Were they really that big? Oh, uh -oh. Fuck. Now everything's dead. 
Just getting oh. here, the survivors. Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become the dinosaurs. Here's another map oh, of the land. There oh, he is. Park. Don't worry about it. it. Does that all the time. Here comes a meteor. And the dinosaurs are gone. Bye. It's mammal time. Here come the mammals. Look at those breasts. Now they're gonna dominate mm. the world, and one of them just learned how to grab stuff and walk. Oh. You know, like walk like that and grab stuff at the same time. And Damn, look at him go! And make pointed rocks. Ouch. And set things on fire. Youch. And make crazy Wait. sounds with their voice. Does this look familiar? The people are coming. Which can mean different things. That's a human person. And now wow, they're everywhere. It's me and you. Almost. And they're everywhere. What? You can walk over here? Cool. Not anymore. Well, I guess we're stuck here now. Let's review. There's people on the planet. And that's how there's people everywhere. Because you used to be able to just walk everywhere. And then the tectonic plates were like, nah, dude, that's cringe. We want like ocean everywhere because water is super cool. Land, not so cool. So the tectonic plates are like, nah, it's going to go. And then he moved away. And then there's people already. And they're chasing their food. Fuck it. Time to plant some grass. Look at this. I control the food now. Now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all build Agriculture. houses except mine is bigger because I own the food. This is great. I wonder if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use metal. Yeah. It's underground. Better farming Whoa. was just invented in a sweet dank valley right in between these two rivers. And the animals are helping. Guess what happens next? More, f more food? Are you kidding me? And then they're going to build up some societies. Food. And more people who came to buy the food. Now you need people to help make the food and keep track of the sales. And now you need houses for people to live in and people to make the houses. And now there's I more need people pyramids. and they invent things, which makes things better. And more people come and there's more farming and more people to make more things for more people. And now there's business, money, writing, laws, power. Society. We did it. We made society. And everything went downhill from there. Coming soon to a dank river valley near you. Meanwhile, I You ever wonder why? Big cities are always near some kind of river, water base, or ocean. It's because you need water, idiot. That's why. You need water for everything. For drinking, for washing, for cleaning, for farming. You need it for everything. That's why all the cities were built near some kind of big war source of water. Out in the middle of nowhere, the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired of using lame, sad metal? Introduce yeah. a bronze. Made with special oh, ingredients so tin from the far lands of Tinland. I don't know. My dealer won't tell me where he gets it. Also, whoa, uh, do I live in Tinland? There's a lot of tin over here. Guess what? Egypt. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, China. And did I mention? In this river valley civilization. Th the what? Nordachico. The Middle East is getting nice. more complicated. Maybe because it's in the middle of the East. Knock, knock. Or <laughs> It's getting more complicated. Oh no! Yep, you could say that at any point during human history, and you'd be right. The clop clop. It's the people with the horses, and they made an empire, and then everyone else copied their horses. Greeks. Ah, look, it must be the Greeks, or a beta version of the Greeks. Let's check in with the, the Indus beta Greeks? civilization. They're gone. Cringe. Guess who's not gone? China. New arrivals in India. Maybe it's those horse people I was talking about, or their cousins Yo. or something. They're back. And they wrote Hi. some hymns and mantras and stuff. You could make a religion out of this. There's oh, the yeah. Bronze Age collapse. Now the Phoenicians uh -oh. can get down to business. Also, can we switch to a metal that's a little easier to find? Thanks. Look who came back to Israel. It's the 12 tribes of Israel. And they believe in God. Just one, though. He's got like a 10-step program. There's just one? Man. Why can't we have believe in like a ton of gods? <laughs> And then the pagans were gone. Just kidding, not Here's yet. some huge heads. Must be the Olmecs. The Phoenicians make some colonies. The Greeks copy their idea and make some colonies. The Phoenicians made a colony so big it makes colonies. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind, it's the Babylonian media. It's the Persian Empire. Wow, that's big. Dude, I love this editing so much. It's so good. This must have taken a year to make. Ah, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. You can make a religion out of this. Oops, China just broke, but while it was- <laughs> China just broke? Yeah, it breaks like every 200 years. Breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. Nice, oh, well Greeks done. The just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right Whoa. over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's a great idea. He was great. And now- Until he died and then it- Wait, I spoiled He's it. dead. Hopefully the rest oh. of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between them. Knock knock, it's Chandra Gupta. He says, get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 elephants? Okay, thanks, bye. Time to conquer all of India. To be fair, 500 elephants is a pretty good deal. India. Why did he not conquer the rest of it? He didn't co conquer the penis head. But what about this part? That's the Tamil Kings. No one conquers oh. the Tamil Kings. Okay. The Tamil Kings? Merchants probably. Oh, they have less of money. And they've got spices. Who would like <gasps> to buy the spices? Herbs. Me, said the Arabian, swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Hey, China put itself back together again with good nice. morals as their main philosophy. Actually, there are three main philosophies. <laughs> Out here, the horse nomads run wild and free, and they would like to ransack your city. Uh-oh. Oh, come on, man. 
dude. Let's we're gonna have to like make make a great wall to stop them or something. Like the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekification overload. Bye, said the Parthians. Bye, said the Jews. Hi, said the Parthians, taking over the entire place. Hey, Damn. said the Romans, eating the entire Mediterranean for breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Uh, well, it's not gonna stop anytime soon. Uh, I'm sorry. Hi, everything's great, said some guy. Jesus! Who seems to be very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only- Ah, uh, man. Well, he was fun for like a second. Makes him more popular. You can make a religion out of this. Want silk? Now you can buy it from China. They just made a- Brand new road to the world. Are they gonna break yet? They should break soon. Breaking they got Vietnam. Sick. New trade routes, said India, accidentally spreading their religion to the entire southeast. Mm, that's a good Whoops. place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes Buddhism traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses again. Remember- Uh-oh, and it broke. <laughs> I knew it was gonna bloody break soon. That China, always breaking. The Persian Empire? Yep, said the Persians, making a new one. Axum is getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. Has anyone populated Madagascar yet? Let's do it together. But what about the- the-, the no, no, the lemurs populated Madagascar? <gasps> I hope it doesn't break! Still can't um. cross the Sahara Desert? Try camels. Hell yeah, now we got business. Said the Ghana Empire. Yeah, so let's go! And so, so much money. Hi, I live in the Roman Empire and I was wondering Is loving Jesus legal yet? No. Actually, okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. Don't worry about Rome, it won't fall. It's the. <laughs> Papela, yeah, it won't fall. It's not like there's gonna be two of them soon. There's the Gupta Empire, not Chandra Gupta, just Gupta. First name Chandra. The first. What? Guess who's really? Rome. Barbarians. What's a barbarian? Oh, non Romans, no, said the Romans, being invaded by non Romans. R.I.P. Roman Empire. Er Ah, oh, rest in peace, Roman Empire. He had a good run for like a while. Actually, just half of it. The other half is just fine, but it's not in Rome anymore, so let's give it a new name. The Byzantines. Oh, and here's a huge good job. city. Population, everyone. The Goat oh. Turks have taken over the entire Eurasian steppe. Great job, Goat That's Turks. That's a lot. How's India? Broken. How's China? Oh, god damn it. I don't you dare be. Back together. <gasps> How's those trading You kingdoms? did it, China? There's more of them. Korea has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom. It's the Sunrise Kingdom. Nice. Deep in the Arabian desert, on the top of a mountain, the real god whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube wherever... <laughs> the, the real god. I like how he says the real god. And he tells them their gods are all fake. And everyone got so oh. mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. You can make a religion out of this, and maybe conquer the on world fire. as well. The Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Plus there's new Let's kingdoms go! all over Europe. I wonder if- Dude, there's so many kingdoms in Europe, and they'll all fight each other for billions of years! There's room for moors. Here's all the wisdom. In a house. It's the Baghdad House of Wisdom. Just in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it and become the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Said the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Remember this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there? Someone owns that now. Want to get a uh -oh. land in the middle of nowhere? The that Franks sounds like have a lot the of money. kingdom in Europe, and the Pope is so proud that he invites the king over for Christmas. Surprise! You're the Good new job, Roman Charlemagne. Emperor, said the Pope, pretending to still Woo! be part of the Roman Empire. Well, not quite. I mean, there was a little bit left, and they weren't really called the Roman Empire anymore, and they're definitely uh, not going to reform the Roman Empire. Uh, but um, this still the Roman Empire. Right, guys? Then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not France. The Northerners, oh, okay. <laughs> just Norse if you don't have much time, are exploring. They go north. Uh oh. I sure hope they don't come over to my house. From the north to the northern north. And they find oh, okay. some land. Two types of okay, land. Good. And they name them accordingly. <clears throat> they also Oops. invade some other places and get called oh. many names, such as Vikings. They're did you guys know that the Vikings went to America before Christopher Columbus went to America? And they didn't bring smallpox with them either. Here's the Rus, the Kievan Rus. Are they Vikings? I don't think so, said the Kievan Rus. Okay, fair enough. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire. The Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't worry about it. New yeah, the Holy Roman Empire never actually had anything to do with Rome. Had nothing to do with it at all. I don't know why it's called the Roman kingdoms. Empire. Christianize all the kingdoms. Which brand would you like? Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Time to conquer England, said William. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's the Seljuk Turks. <laughs> said the Byzantine Empire, who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. We need help. Aww. They need help. So they call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe. Is it time for crusade? Take back the Holy Land on the way. Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade. They did Let's many go! crusades, some of which almost didn't fail, but at least. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. The crusade. I did a lot of research on the crusades. Turns out a lot of them just didn't go very well. The Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Mayans. Hello, Toltecs. Goodbye, Toltecs. Hello. Mississippi. Look at those mounds. There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to build a town and a cliff. Guess who's here? Come here. Where? Here. And Pagan is there. Vietnam unconquered itself. Korea just became itself. And Japan- Oh, 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 wait. We're getting player kills to China. Are they together or are they broken apart? Place your guesses in the chat now. And is so addicted to art that the military might have to take over the government. China just invented bombs and typing. And the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice. Oh, oh, uh, yep. Yeah, there goes China. Going, Genghis. I bet-
Well, uh, good job, Genghis. They had a real, real, real big empire for a long time, which is a lot of space, though. They had a lot of space. They had a lot of people, too. Also, Genghis is like one of the worst people that has ever existed. That will last a long time. Some of the Islamic Turks were unaffected no. by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading India. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. I just found out where the Swahili- Colonizing the Pacific Ocean? Damn, they hit- they, they called it before we did! It's all their gold. Look at this Chad. Means lake. There's an empire Damn. there. Right in the middle oh. of- Africa. The king of Mali is so rich he's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich, everyone said. The Christians are doing a- That guy was so rich, actually, that wherever he went, he crashed the economy up because he had so much gold and he was giving away so much gold that it completely caused omega inflation and crashed all their economies. So sometimes the billionaires giving away their money doesn't the good thing? What? I, I still think Elon Musk should pay his taxes, though. A great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. <laughs> Whoops, half of Europe. <laughs> no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Dude, these references are fantastic as well. Just like constantly. Everything is just perfect in this video. It just died. Oh. <gasps> Ming Dynasty. I hope it doesn't break. China's back. Yay. Hey, come here. Time to share. New kingdoms here and there. Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Mapajahit. Majapahit. Majapahit! I got it oh, the Italy's first time. Really rich. I'm so good at this. to care a lot about art in the ancient classics. It's kind of like a <gasps> it's rebirth. It's time. Here's a it's a renaissance. That's what wait. That's what renaissance word means. I didn't know it meant rebirth. That's kind of cool, though. Let's make books. So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Yep, said the Ottoman Turks. Nice job, Ottoman. Oh, and now it's the Ottoman Empire. Goodbye, Byzantines. Goodbye. Turks. Oops, you missed a spot. Don't forget to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. Spiceless. Well, I guess we'll have to find another way to India. Uh-oh. I think they're gonna go the wrong way. Well, there's nothing that could possibly go wrong with going the wrong way just one time on a boat, right? Wait, said Christopher Columbus, probably smoking crack. If the world is round, let's go this way to India. No, don't worry, we already got this, said Portugal. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey Spain, wanna hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, please, uh -oh. no, please, no, please. Okay, so he sails into the ocean and discovers more ocean and then discovers and? the Indies and Japan. Whoa. Let's draw wow. a line to decide who gets which half of the world. The Aztec and Inca empires are off to a great start. I wonder if they That's not Japan, Mr. Columbus, you silly goose. They know that Europe just discovered their continent. The Habsburgs are marrying into so many royal families, they might have to start marrying each other. Move over, Lithuania. Here come and they probably did because there was a lot of inbreeding with the royal families back in the day. They wanted to keep the time, the, the, the bloodline pure. <laughs> You're only stupid. Comes Moscow. Ivan wants to make Russia great again. Move over, uh -oh. Timurids. Maybe go invade India or something. Persia just made Persia Persian again. Let's make it the other kind of Islam. The one where we thought the first guy should have been the other guy. Hey, Christians, do you sin? Now you can buy your way out of hell. That's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. That's a scam. Fuck the church. Here's 95 reasons why, said Martin Luther in his new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. You know what would uh -oh. be magnificent, said Suleiman, wearing an onion hat? What if the Ottoman Empire was really big? Which it is now. What if Russia- <gasps> Wow, dude, that's so big. Congrats to the Ottomans. Also, Russia just always seems to get themselves in bad situations. Has there ever been like a good Russia, Russian ruler that, that, that wasn't an asshole? It was big, said Ivan, trying not to be terrible. Portugal had- Because he's terrible! Like all of them! All the Russian rulers are just horrible people! Had a dream that they controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the spice trade. And then that dream was real. And Spain realized that this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. They Damn, they did pillage a lot of Spain. And then Portugal got Brazil. They had a lot of land down there. Damn, said England and France. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. And then Europe did their colonizing. Let's go! Europe colonization speed run. Let's go right now. Question Boom. one. Can you get to India through North America? No, but at least there's beaver. Question two. Steal the spice trade. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. <laughs> Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil. Stolen. In the Caribbean. And it's so goddamn profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. The next thing- Oh my, oh jeez. Yeah, I mean, you just forget sometimes. You, you forget you leave your Avalon, you forget where you put your keys, you forget where you put your wallet, and you forget to not do slavery. It's something you forget every now and then. Russia's to-do list is to get bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world. More specifically, Ohio. Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving Prussia a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's Britain. Guess who's broke? Woo! Also Britain. So they start oh. taxing the hell out of America. Fuck you, says America, declaring their independence and fighting for it. And France helps ah, them come win. On guys. Now France is broke. 
and Britain oh, man. just- Well, now France broke themselves trying to support the American Revolution because they were like, wow, we really don't like the UK. And then did the French Revolution happen? Send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, if France is broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off, said Robespierre, cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off. You can make a religion. There's one thing that the French are really good at, it's revolutions. Dude, they do such a good revolution. They're always mad at the government. Whatever is going wrong, they're like, oh, I do not like the government. I do not like them at all. Haiti is starting to like the idea of a revolution, especially the slaves who free themselves by killing their masters. Why didn't we think of this before? Wait, Very who's in charge of France now? said Napoleon, trying to take over uh -oh. Europe. Luckily, they banished him to an island. But he came back. Luckily, they banished him to another island. Well, that's because he tried to invade Russia in the winter. And that's just a silly idea. Independence? Oh my god, I love that. There goes Latin America, becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Britain just figured out how to turn steam into power. So now they can Whoa. make many different types of machines and factories. Dude, we're gonna revolutionize this. Them, so they can make a lot of products real fast. Look at all these products right there. There's so many products. Good job, UK. And they invent some trains and conquer India Whoa. and maybe put some trains there. Hey. Uh, well, maybe we shouldn't have colonized the whole of India. Actually, no one. I just, I, I can't compliment the UK without them going and doing more colonizing. Stop doing colonization, UK. I want to give you props because you do like a cool thing. And then you just go and do more colonization. Stop doing the colonization. China, said Britain. Buy stuff from us. Nah, no, dude, we already got everything. So. And, oh, no, I know. It's China. So Britain tried to get them addicted to opium, which worked yep. actually. But then China yep. made it illegal and dumped it all into the sea. So Britain- Oh, a little bit of a throwback to dumping dumping British things in the sea. <laughs> China, US, handshake. Through a hissy fit and made them open up five cities and give them an island. Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Afghanistan. Also, the Sultan of Oman lives in Zanzibar now. That's just where he lives. India just had a revolution and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope. Good job. I hope they can. Said Britain, governing them even harder than before. Oh, well, never mind. Maybe next time. <gasps> Technology Damn. is about to go crazy. Let's the United go. States finally figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. And then they continued man- Well done! Well done! Good job, US! You only did it like hundreds of years late. But like one of the last countries to outlaw slavery and, and they're like, Come on, we did it, guys! We're super epic! They're testing their destiny, which is to kill the rest of the natives and take their land and maybe kick out the Mexicans too. Oh, come on, guys. Why? I mean, you, you want to be seen as the good guys and you go ahead and do that? I know. Let's rape Africa, said Europe. Oh, Scrambling geez. to see who could rape it the fastest. Oh my god, there's so much- There's so much colonization! Why don't we just leave them alone? Good god, look at all this colonizing going on! They never got Ethiopia. Britain and France are still hungry. They didn't? They never got Thailand. They're doing colonization in Asia as well! The United States ran out of destiny to manifest, so they're looking for more. <laughs> Cuba. Wait, Spain Alaska? controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the main on Spain. So they blame the main on Spain. Now we're in business. To celebrate, they kick Panama. Oh yeah, I forgot they got Philippines as well. Does anyone remember that the US used to have the Philippines? Out of Panama and make a canal, connecting the two oceans. Britain just found oil in the Middle East. It makes cool. Uh-oh, oh no, no, no. They found oil in the Middle East. Oh no, POV. You're in the Middle East and they just found oil in your backyard. Oh no, uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. China is so tired of being bossed around that they delete their old government and make a new, stronger government, which is accidentally weaker and controlled by a guy from the previous government. Europe Damn. hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War One. Yeah, uh, Europe really likes doing war. Look at those guns. It's gonna be a great war. So great we won't need a second one. After it's no. over, they blame Germany. <laughs> Russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government. Now everyone's paycheck is the same. Communism. In the Soviet Union. The Arabs arose. Wow, they Britain did it. They made the now Soviet the Union. Empire is gone, so we can give the Jewish people a place to live. Hopefully. Wow, we really messed up the Middle East. Because we came in and we were like, oh, we're just going to draw some like squiggly lines and those are going to be the borders. And then the people that are living there were like, oh, actually, we don't want these to be the borders. We think they're bad borders and maybe those shouldn't be the borders. And then Britain was like, oh, we don't care because those are the borders now. Anyway, bye. And then there was the Middle East. Hopefully the Arabs won't mind. Let's cut the cake, said Sykes and Picot, carving up the remains of the not-so-Ottoman-anymore empire. Except Turkey, Turkey makes a brand new Turkey. And then the Saudis conquer Arabia. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Hello? Yes, it's Hello? the 1920s calling. Let's get <gasps> in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Wow! The uh oh. Well, that doesn't look good. Germany's back featuring Hitler, the angry mustache model. And he's mad oh, at no. the Jews for existing. 
Japan is finally conquering the- Dude, well, why- why does no one just cut the- the juice some slack? Like, they always get dunked on for literally no reason. What-, what they've done nothing! Just leave them alone! East, and they're so excited they raped Nanking way too hard, they should probably just deny it. Hitler's that was out of bad. control, so the international community tackles him and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is a bad idea. But he kills bad himself idea. before they could explain it to him. That's World War II. Bonus round, they, Pacific there it is. Showdown. United States versus Japan. Fight. Ah, uh, oh. Oh no. Finish it. Let's unite and all the nations it. and have some world peace. Seems legit. Hi, I'm Gandhi, and if Britain doesn't get the hell out of India, I'm going to starve myself in public. You're still there? Come on, guys. You think we wouldn't notice the colonization that you were still doing? Wow, that worked. Bonus, now there's Pakistan. Actually, two Pakistans. One of them came to Bangladesh later. The Jews nice. and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in the Holy Land. Me, they both said at the same time. Let's divide up <laughs> the land so everyone's happy. Psych! Oh, no. Yep, everyone's happy and there were no problems ever again. Yep. They both get angry. Look out. And they get angrier and angrier every day that goes past. I know there's a new China in China. What's on the menu? Communism. No thanks, said the other China, escaping to an island. I wonder which one is the real China. There's the Korean War. Korea which one is the real Korea. China? Nobody wins, then it's on pause forever. Let's meet the sponsors. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. And How about maybe the... I think both are evil viruses of Satan. Me, the highly intellectual defense sitter. Both have atom bombs. Fight. Fight! Wait, no, that would be the end of the world. Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead, and make sure we have enough atom bombs. I'll race you to space. Now let's make some more countries fight themselves. Europe is tired of pillaging other continents, and the continents they were pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell- DECOLONIZATION! Woo! It's about bloody time! Who are being pillaged by? The United States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They decided it's bad, and the world- Well, I mean- pfft. Uh, you say that, but a lot of them didn't decide it's bad, and uh, still to this day don't decide that it's bad. Agrees. South Africa might need another minute to think about it. Let's check the world population. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. That's a lot. Technology's better too, that might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. <laughs> and then Putin's like, oh no, we should we should reassemble that. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Whoops, someone just attacked America. I bet they'll oh. remember that. Phone call. Surprise, mm, it's in your pocket. Want to learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Now your phone's a computer, which is in your pocket. Whoops, the economy just crashed. Don't- Damn it, not again! This keeps happening! Can someone just hold up the economy? Maybe like, juice it up with some money printing and inflation? Don't worry, the big banks won't fail because they're not supposed to. Surprise! Uh. Flying robots. With bombs. Want to print a uh -oh. brain? Some people have no friends. Some people have no food. The globe is warming. And the ocean is full of plastic. Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor, said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by a thing inventor. That's pretty cool. By the way, where the hell are there's we? There's so many things, are we? Uh, there's so many things. So, and, and after that, everything uh, got a lot better, and there's now no problems, and uh, we solved all the problems, and we did it! Congrats, guys! We did it! There's no problems ever again. Make sure you go and subscribe to Bill Watts. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. That's my favorite YouTube video on the platform. Bye!